What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. We have a lot of stuff to really cover today. We have potential tropical cyclone 16 that is becoming more and more of a tropical storm as we continue to speak. We have Invest 90L that is continuing to organize and develop in the main development region. We have a potential Central American gyre that could organize and develop into something tropical. We'll have to wait and see how that goes on that front, but... We have a threat to land with 16, and we have a potential threat to land with 90L. So here's what we have with PTC 16 right now. It currently has winds of 50 miles per hour, minimum central pressure of 996 millibars, located at 32.3 degrees north, 75.6 degrees west. It is moving west, sorry, moving north at 12 miles per hour, 80% chance of formation in the next 48 hours. Those chances have been increasing at a very, very rapid pace. So... That's what we have going on. Tropical storm force winds extend out 275 miles from the center. So this is a very large trop uh, a, a tropical system right here that if it does develop uh, if it does develop right here. So that's what we have going on. Three to five feet of storm surge is expected in parts of no the no of North Carolina, including the News and Bay Rivers, as well as the P uh, P uh, uh, Pamlico and Pungo Rivers. Excuse me if I butchered any of those. We can go ahead and show you the storm surge map as it continues to show. All right here, three to five feet of surge for uh, the, for this air, for these rivers right here in North Carolina. Two to four feet from Sur Surf City all the way to Washington D.C. Actually, that's showing you how expansive this is. And even though this is a 50 mile per hour system as of right now, it's still bringing quite a bit of storm surge because the wind field is so massive. And for uh, and it basically in this two to four feet area, it not only goes through the Potomac, it also impacts Chesapeake Bay, parts of Virginia Beach, uh, parts of the Delmarva Peninsula. One to three feet for the rest of the bay, parts of South. Carolina up to Surf City, and then parts of the Delaware Bay, including in, uh, up into New Jersey right here. So we'll have to pay attention to all the stuff that's going on. There is going to be a pretty big flood th uh, threat with this. A moderate risk of flooding has been issued from Hatteras, North Carolina, all the way to near Wilmington, around Surf City. Um, slight risk is from North Carolina all the way to Connecticut and Massachusetts. So this is a very, very large and very, very expansive threat because there's going to be some winds. There's going to be a, potentially a lot of flooding from North Carolina all the way to New England, and the, including areas like New York City, Philadelphia, D.C., all these areas right here. And we'll have to keep you updated on all those threats as time continues to go on and we have tropical storm we have tropical storm warnings that are in effect from uh, in effect from Wilmington North Carolina uh, Carolina all the way through Chesapeake Bay towards the Delmarva Peninsula right here to the Maryland Delaware border so this is a very very serious situation that we have going on as time continues to, uh, to progress right here and then we'll go ahead that's what we have going on with PTC 16 we'll show you some more models and everything like that as time continues to go on and we'll show you th those in just a second now we're going to go ahead and show you this right here which is invest 90l this is a huge threat I've been paying attention to for the last several days as this has the potential to impact the Antilles the models have been kind of shifting back and forth back and forth over the last two days or so so we'll definitely keep an update as time continues to go on but here's what we have for right now Shower and thunderstorm activity associated with an area of low pressure located 600 miles west-southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands continues to show signs of organization. Further development is, of this is expected. A tropical depression is likely to form during the next several uh, days, while the system moves generally westward at 10 to 15 miles per hour. The system is expected to turn to the west northwestward early next week as it moves over the tropical central tropical Atlant uh, Atlantic. Excuse me. 70% chance of formation in the next uh, 48 hours. 90% chance of formation in the next seven days. So we have a huge situation that is going on we have a lot of weather that is currently going on and as we get into this active weather period be sure to check out my friends over at prestige weather they do individual one-on-one -on -one weather consulting catering to your local area for more information you can find a link to their website in the description down below and be sure to use code predictor for 50 percent off your first month now, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and show you some more model runs right here. We have the European GFS, Icon, Navgem, all of the above. 
for what we have, at least for the for the Atlantic right here, to give you a better understanding of what's going on. So here's what we have for the European. Has this subtropical to turning tropical system making landfall near outer banks of North Carolina before pushing into Virginia, near Virginia Beach, and then into D.C., Pennsylvania, into New York. It loses tropical characteristics as it, as due to land interaction, and then it starts impacting parts of New England all across this area right here, while this system starts to gradually organize and develop. The European, interestingly, has this thing not exactly developing very fast or organizing very fast, has it around tropical depression strength for as the time goes on, but the European then somehow has this thing stalling out and then starting to turn to the west northwest. I'm going to be completely honest when I see oh, with me seeing this. I don't exactly like the turn the Europeans forecasting, primarily due to this high pressure system and this high pressure ridge being there right here. The, the trough might uh, potentially push it a little bit more to the north, but all I will say is this. The weaker this thing is and the longer it takes to, to strengthen, the, the chances are that the, this thing will, will go further to the west. So that's what we have with the European. Next one we're showing you is the GFS right here. The GFS has been pretty interesting. The GFS has us making landfall near the outer banks of, uh, of North Carolina, PTC-16, once it becomes tropical. And then it brings a lot of rain to Virginia, Delaware, Maryland, D.C., New York City, Massachusetts, all these areas right there in uh, in New England as this thing continues to as this thing continues to spread a lot of its tropical rains to oh, go with it. Now, the GFS has this thing, which is Invest 90L, starting to organize and develop and then becomes a hurricane before pushing uh, more, to the we uh, more to the west, northwest, and then north, and then into the north but then it kind of just kind of stays out here and kind of takes a bit of a, a weird di direction right here which i'm going to be completely honest with you guys unless we see a complete collapse of the steering currents i don't see that happening even the 6z gfs is showing a similar st situation right here to some extent right here although we will have to keep an eye on it as time continues to go on so that's what we have with the gfs the big threat for right now is PTC-16, and the European and GFS agree right now, is this is bringing impacts to North Carolina, Virginia, all those areas right there that could see a lot of flooding as we continue to talk about that. So here's what we have for the CMC model right here. CMC actually keeps this thing... Oh, offshore before making landfall in the Delmarva Peninsula as a 993 millibar system. But in that case, it would bring a lot more of a flooding potential to Pennsylvania, especially Philadelphia, New York City, Boston, those areas, as those get more affected by the heavier rain bands near the center of circulation. And meanwhile, the CMC is still holding on this more westward track right here, and it's actually having a high, a high pressure system build up before a trough starts to overtake that and keep that out to sea. But it's still bringing a lot of impacts towards the Antilles as of right now. The CMC, this is kind of a, a, a hill the CMC is going to die on at this point. So we'll have to keep an eye on that as time continues to progress. Next one we're showing you is the NavGem model right here. Here is the 0Z NavGem. 0Z NavGem showing, showing a similar situation to the European and GFS with PTC-16, bringing lots and lots of impacts to North Carolina, Virginia, Delaware, Maryland, New York City, all those areas. While it's having 90L organized and gradually develops, starts strengthening up into hurricane strength before turning to the west-northwest. There's a high-pressure system that starts to block uh, block that right there, block the path of it, so we'll have to keep an eye on it and see how that, uh, that affects the steering currents as time continues to go on. Next one we're showing you is the I icon right here and the icon model has been interesting the icon like every model except the cmc is having the ptc 16 which will soon become ophelia at this point uh making landfall near the uh sorry i keep forgetting it it's near the outer banks of north carolina i do apologize for that and then we have 90l gradually organizing and developing and then it starts to make that approach towards the antilles but then a trough starts to uh, get in there and kind of st uh, stall it a little bit while starting to turn to the west northwest which that's pretty interesting to say at the very least. What I will say is this, and I said this before in this video, the uh, the f w longer it takes for this thing to strengthen and the longer it takes for this thing to develop, the more f further west it's more likely to go. And that based on but that with the whole uh, th this huge blocking high right here that's causing the steering currents for this thing to go west in the first place, unless a significant trough really starts to de uh, develop in this area, like by like four days out or so, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. It's still up in the air at this point. We'll have to keep an eye on it here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. 
Now we're going to go ahead and show you the conditions that we are looking at. Here's the conditions we have right now. We have the global sea temperatures of 30 plus degrees Celsius from the western half of the main development region all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. So if 90L goes all the way from Africa and then enters this area of 30 plus degrees Celsius waters and then keeps going west, it'll have infinite fuel for this thing to organize, develop, and strengthen. And that and that, if that does it too early, that will end up pushing it uh, further to the northwest and to, towards cooler and cooler waters as it continues to do so. The cold wake from Lee and Franklin is still very much there and very much alive at this point. So we'll have to keep a very close eye on the track of this. Where PTC 16 is right now, it's in an area of 28 plus or 30 uh, or degrees Celsius or 30, 82 plus degrees Fahrenheit waters across uh, this off the coast of North Carolina right here. So as this continues to move on shore, it's going to have plenty of warm water. Water, plenty of uh, plenty of OHC. Wind shear is a bit questionable uh, as this thing continues to approach, but we'll have to keep a very close eye on it. Next thing we're going to go ahead and show you is the ocean heat content, or OHC, as I always like to say. And the OHC near North Carolina is pretty impressive. It's about uh, around almost 100 OHC across a lot of these areas, especially near the Gulf Stream uh, off the coast of the Carolinas. So. If that can take advantage of fully of that, it definitely could strengthen at a pretty robust pace and get stronger than 65 miles per hour. We'll have to wait and see how that shear plays out, but for 90L, for the first half of the MDR, it doesn't have too much ocean heat content. Yeah, it has plenty of warm waters, but it's not particularly deep or anything like that. So OHC is around like 25 to 50 until we get to the western half of the MDR when it starts to gradually increase. And then as it's approaching the Antilles, we have a massive upswing in OHC up to 100, 125, 150. 50 OHC in some of these areas right here. And keep in mind, if this thing somehow does enter the Caribbean, there is a lot of very untapped warm water and a lot of very untapped OHC. And a lot of these areas, over 200 ocean heat content. So this is the these are the best conditions that it would be going through if it were, it were able to make that path and that high pressure system was strong enough to stop that trough from really doing much to the track. So that's what we have with OHC. Wind shear has been pretty interesting. The wind shear where this whole system is, where PTC-16 has been pretty stubborn around 50 to 60 knots of shear, but even still, PTC-16 is very resilient, I have noticed, and even though it looks completely sheared and it looks rather awful compared to other tropical systems, it's still impressive to me that it's strengthening as it's moving through that. It looks like the waters in OHC are enough to really counteract this whole situation right here. And as for 90L, there's an area of stronger wind shear as of right now across parts of the MDR, but that's expected to fluctuate off and on, off and on, off and on for the next few days. So this is definitely something we'll have to keep a very close eye on on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. And we'll keep a very close eye on it. We'll keep uh, you updated. We're closing out the video out right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out. Helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. Be sure to check out my friends at Prestige Weather. Use code PREDICTOR for 50% off your first month. And with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.